Dan from DigiGrid and we're here at ESV TV talking about the MADI processing options we have from DigiGrid. Now, we've looked at the MGB previously, check that out on the other video, but this is a MADI interface that sits on our SoundGrid network. And if you need to process audio on the network, say maybe you're running plugins at front of house and monitors on a MADI based console and your normal board you know, doesn't support plugins, then what you need is one of our SoundGrid servers. And this is a piece of DSP, an Intel DSP, that sits on the network that gives us ultra low latency processing for SoundGrid format plugins. That's Waves plugins and now third party plugins. So this summer we'll see Brainworks release uh, their, their SoundGrid compatible plugins and there's others in the pipeline too. So, 40 sample round trip, ultra low latency processing based on this. This is the Wave SoundGrid server. There are a couple of options of this, but this is the, the ruggedized uh, one for, uh, for live use, really. Um, it's going to stand up to uh, a, a tour. Um, and it connects simply with one of our MADI interfaces. So the MGB for, for copper, or if you're running maybe a Studio or a Soundcraft or an optical based one, we need the MGO. So this gives us up to 64 stereo inserts of processing, running hundreds of plugins on our SoundGrid server. Um, and again, perfect for, for every application. So whether you're running live and you want to run your Waves plugins or monitors or some sort of broadcast plugins on a, on a, on a studio desk like that, uh, this is what you need. Uh, to rent or buy the SoundGrid solution, the MGBs plus the server, eastwoodsoundandvision.com.